Hello and welcome to another CAD Advanced How To video. In this video we're talking about custom maps and how to use them within CAD Advanced. So CAD Advanced comes with a default map but uh, if your community uses say a custom map, a postal area map or whatever then you might want to use that in the CAD so this video will show you how to do that. So if we go over to our dispatch screen we can see that we've got the default map that comes with CAD Advanced. Uh, and down here in the right hand corner at the bottom we've got a map a map layer selector at the minute we've just got default map because that's the only one that's installed so I'll show you now how to install another one so you go over to admin and then maps so what you'll need for this is six map tiles um, prepared in a specific format at a specific size. Um, we've got a separate video showing you how to take a map downloaded that you might be using on your 5M server and how to prepare from that the, the map files that you need here. So if you check that video out that will show you how to do that. So once you've got the map files this is where you'll use them. So as you can see here in this screen here we've got uh, your maps. Uh, this will list all your maps at the moment we've just got the default map. Um, and you can't delete the default map that always needs to stay however you can deactivate it so if you don't actually need to use that map at all you can just deactivate it with this button here uh, the ready column is telling you whether a map has been processed a newly uploaded map has been processed and is ready for use so when you upload a map it then needs to be processed by the system uh, before it can actually be used so that column there will tell you whether that's happened and whether it can be used um, and you can also rename a map, so any map you can just rename. So to use a new map or to upload a new map, we simply choose a map name. So I'm going to call this one Postal Map. Uh, and then you click on Choose Files. And these are the six files that you should have. They should be named exactly like this. Um, the, the other video that I referred to will show you how to get these six files. So once you've got those, you just select them all and then click open and then you upload them and you can see we've got a progress bar there showing the up upload progress um, so we'll just wait for that to finish so now that's completed we've got a message saying the map's been uploaded and it'll shortly be ready um, the process should take up to about half an hour um, the, there's a, a job that runs periodically that processes newly uploaded maps so uh, yeah it should be ready in about half an hour so if we just wait for that to happen then we can carry on okay we can now see that that map has been processed and is ready so in order to actually use it within the dispatch we need to uh, enable it so if we just click on the button there that's now enabled and ready to go so if we go over to the dispatcher we get the default map but we've also got our postal map so if we select that we can see we have a postal map and if I was to create a location marker on the map let's put it in the middle of the lake there you can see that all the maps are obviously properly aligned and everything and the markers and anything you put on the map will be uh, displayed above whatever map layer you choose so that's how to use custom maps within CAD Advanced I hope this has been useful. Thanks very much for watching.